Hello, and welcome to episode 40 of my RuneScape tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be on doing Floor 3, Complexity 4, Dungeon, using the Dungeoneering skill. So, slowly getting deeper. And so you can see there I'm doing the Floor 3, Complexity 4. Current progress now is on 2. And I still can't adjust the size of the dungeon, but that will come all in good time. So let's enter. And you can see now with complexity 4, I can smith armor. I can do hunter skill, farming, which is very cool, uh, tailoring textiles, and crafting. And the shop has more stock. So let's show you first of all what he's now selling. So look at all this. Um, I gained a few, a couple or two or three room crafting levels at the end of the last dungeon. And so I'll probably do just focus on doing that, although I do like farming as well. Um, Herb Law is my favourite for dungeons, so I can't wait to get onto that. Right, let's gather up all my stuff. And as well, I was a fool in the last episode because the wood that I had, I could have made myself a staff and done magic. I didn't think of that. But you live and learn. Also, I found where I, that I can use the home teleport to teleport back to this start room. Uh, again, I've been being very silly in the previous few episodes of where I've walked back, where I can just use that home teleport and the um, spell that I can use to is magic uh, if I go in here and show you so while dungeoneering you can use a gate stone but I need to be level 32 magic hence why I want to work on my magic skill I'm sure there's one where you don't need or maybe you do need the runes but anyway so yeah we can do a a gate spell so I can teleport then back to wherever I've reached in the dungeon because as you can imagine these dungeons when I'm doing a large dungeon you can get a long way away and so it's very very handy to be able to do that so let's have a look though what have we got to start with not a lot you kidding me I mean got a weapon that's strange oh there we are So I guess I'm just going to have to wield an off-hand dagger. All, all I got for now. Um, so let's see. I don't need the water. Actually, I'm going to drop them there. Maybe I can do some bones to bananas to train my magic later on. Yeah, we're not starting with a great deal. Right, such is life. It is what it is. Okay, let's go in here first. You know, the offhand dagger ain't bad. Look at that. Took him out, alright. Oh, and I'm punching him as well with my fist. Alright, good. Let's loot up. Wow, he had a lot of gold on him, that one. Genie. Oh, look at that. We can pick some salve nettles. Which is give me farming XP. That's cool. No fishing in here. Oh, there's a farm, a herb law. Yeah. Right, I haven't got the key yet, so it's 
back in there. And I guess I could drop some stuff off, get in the habit of doing that each time I go through this room. Otherwise your pockets do fill up rather quickly. And these salve nettles, of course, you drop by the spinning wheel. Okay, let's go into the next room. Oh, all salve nettles. Oh, we've got a tree we can cut. Two trees. That's good. Alright, come on, you come round here. Let's see if I can attack them one at a time. No. I'm just going to have to fight them. No, I want you to fight him. That's handy. He's standing over there. there. He was. Now, of course, I can move and hopefully get. I need to get this one who's casting in front. Oh, he won't move. He's going to stay there. He's happy casting his ice bolts at me. Thankfully, they're hardly damaging me. I guess his spells aren't working because I'm wearing mage robes. Mind you, even the Malik, he's only level 1 now, I guess so. Skills are going up nicely. Oh, that was quick. Oh, Frost Dagger. Lovely. Look at that damage. Oh, this is going to be a very easy dungeon now. That is what I normally bind. Oh, look at that. I need attack 36. Magic 36. Another reason why I'm training my magic. But that is my favourite weapon, I believe, in the dungeons. What a shame I can't use it. Okay, we've got some mining. Oh, Marmorosaur. I could go make a Marmorous Dagger, actually. It's, it's got to be better than what I got. My fist, that is. Must be better than my fist. Oh, is that more ore? Yeah, nice. Oh, and I got level 40 smithing as well out of all the trade skilling I was doing after the last dungeon. Which means now I can smelt gold bar bars and adamante bars. I can make myself a staff now as well. If that wood isn't too high. Oh no, yes, we got Tangle Gum. I could make myself a magic staff. I think that's everything from this room, trade skill wise. Collected. Yeah. Okay, I haven't got the key for that door. But my pocket's full, so let's go sell that lovely dagger. Frostbite dagger. Shame. Love to be able to use that. Drop the oars. Oh no, I want to make myself a dagger, that's right. Let's smelt just one for now.
192 damage. Nice. Right. There we go, got two daggers. Uh, let's drop the rest of the ore there. Once I get my attack to 40, then I will switch. Well, I'm going to switch between magic and. And melee, so I use the dagger. I need the mag magic though in order to use that frostbite dagger, so I'm gonna have to train that at some point. Actually, I could make myself a staff quickly, couldn't I? A staff and a wand, in fact. Oh, no, 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 don't waste them all. I really didn't mean to do that. I'm just not paying attention now. It always switches it to the maximum amount. Nearly wasted my wood. Right, so I've got a staff and a wand. That's what I wanted. I only need one of these. Okay, so let's first see what damage I can do with. Oh, I need to drop the nettles off. Right, time to carry on. Which way was I going? I think it was this way, wasn't it? Yeah. I haven't got the key yet for that door. Right, let's see how we can do now with these two daggers. Oh yeah, look at that. Check me out. Badass. Oh nice. Yeah, I do like the daggers. Lethal. See what I mean about your pocket filling up quick? over there. I don't think there's anything else now left trade skill wise in here. There's no trees, there's no ores. So it wouldn't surprise me if I walk straight by one because that's what you do when you're recording you're not paying that well attention right I mean my pockets full but let's just fill it up before I head back here's the key I need yeah these daggers really are I mean look he's level 7 and I've just chopped through him or stabbed through him get some good experience Oh, you can strength XP. Nice. Uh, I won't... Yeah. Let's grab the stuff first. Hailstorm dagger. Oh. Uh, look at that. Oh, one I can use. Look at the... My goodness. I don't remember ever seeing that before. Hailstorm dagger. But it's the fastest attack. Can I use it? I doubt I can. Yeah, look, you need attack 68 and magic 68. Oh, I didn't even, it's the first time I think I've ever seen that dagger. That is a beauty. I'm going to have to go and sell it. 
And let's see if I can pick anything else up. I suppose I could drop the food here. Oh no, this is a dead end. Yeah, I could drop the food here. And then come back. For it. Just take I think that's just a bit of food, yeah. Let's take that key. And just check the room now, see if there's any crafting material. Oh yeah there is, look, south nettles. Get some more farming experience. Every little helps. Yeah, I think that's it for this room. So, I wonder if it's the key to that door. Let's go try it. Yellow diamond door. Where's the key? I can't even see where the key is. Oh, it is as well. Uh, right, let's go back to the entrance. Drop the stuff off before I fight this one. Nettles. Well, I'm not going to sell the plate body because I might well use it. It's a shame that dagger's a beauty. Oh, I might be able to wear the gloves. Let's have a look. Can I wear them? Yeah, I can. Let's drop the shield and the plate armour. What wood is that? Tangle gun. Oh, there's a bag. I may as well sell that. Not into summoning yet. And so far I'm not using this food, so I may as well just drop it here. I probably need it now, but for now, let's just keep a few bits of food on me. Is your pocket fills up too quick. There we go. Right, time to go back. And I'll go and get that other... Oh, there's a door there as well. I'll go and get that food that I left in that other room later. I need it. Though with these daggers, they make short work of everything. Look, level 25. Good job I got my daggers with me. Now that I've got the smithing skill with the dungeons, I can always make myself daggers at the beginning. So now it's gone very cool. Because I think I'm going to stick with daggers. Oh, but I do love magic. 
Uh, or maybe one episode, daggers, one magic. Defense 30, cool. Very cool. All of this, new wear new armors. Batwing armor. Oh, look. Getting loads of skill ups. Sweet. Oh, I'm doing a daily challenge. I didn't even realise that. That is cool. I didn't realise it took into account the daily challenges when doing dungeons, but obviously, apparently, it does. Oh, there's a key and some mining. Oh, altar to recharge my prayer points if I ever use them. So I don't need to do it because I haven't been using my prayers. I should really do use the prayers. I mean, there is some good stuff in there. I normally just like using the healing one. Mind you, that increases my magic attack. That's cool. Oh, is that magic strength? Nice. Ranged attack. Melee attack. I might try that. Attack rate nor damage. Oh, increases your defense rating. That's also nice. Right, that's that room done. So I've got to go back now. May as well go grab the food. And then go back through the other door. Oh, so it's not this one. It's the one off of the main room. Oh, well, it gives me a chance to drop some of this stuff here. Drop that all. South nettles. You can see you can do a ton, you can train a ton of trade skills at the end of the dungeons because as the dungeons get bigger you start to get piles of items. I usually spend all my time just trade skilling. Why not? I love it. Yeah, you can see the difference having these daggers. Look at all the food I'm not having to eat. Even a level, was it, 25 creature, and I still didn't have to chew for all my food. Oops. I've got a shield, so I might as well sell this other one. Right, okay, so that's pocket sorted out. Let's go do this other door. Oh, big rat. And an ice fiend. These daggers are so amazing. Ah, 
man dead. Oh, we got some Fred. Is that another dagger? Oh, no, boy. Got more food? Okay, I can't see any wood or mining. What's going on there? Why is it being mean? Oh, there's a key, though. That must be key to the boss room, I'm guessing now. I think I'm due the boss. Oh, no, there's some south nettles. Bit of farming XP. So, I'll be able to do a bit of tailoring at the end of this episode because that gives me about 25. South nettles now. Yeah, I think that's it. There weren't really a lot in this room. Okay, so let's drop them down. I can't even remember what the thread is for. Uh, I'll look up that at the end of this episode I have to remind myself that's for some of the dagger um, let's put the gold over here I actually have to look by him right let's go see if this is the boss room now Oh yeah, we haven't fought this one, Lumes Lumescent Ice Fiend. So, I'm going to go need to fill up my pocket with food. Let's talk to the smuggler. Um, what great foes await me in this area? There are blah blah blah, let's skip that. The Lumescent Ice Fiend is a larger, more powerful variant of the Ice Fiend's Wandering Daemon Helm. It uses magic and ranged attacks with equal proficiency. It will use a devastating spell at a certain pain threshold. Encasing itself in ice, it will become immune to all damage and rain down icicles from above. Best to avoid these icicles at all costs. Oh, that's right. I seem to remember having to run around in circles when he does that. Right, so, okay. So, I'm better off with ranged. I don't know. I'd like to use my daggers. But I can stay away from them with the ranged. Oh, let's just see how I get on. Let's fill up my pocket with food. And I'll take both sets of weapons with me. Can't remember what would be better, more effective. I think I want to stay away from him. But, um, stay as far away as I can. There he is, right. Let's go fight him. Oh, wrong door. See if I can get this done this time before the end of the episode. But I doubt it. Probably going to take ages to kill him. Let's see what my daggers do. Six and a half thousand hit points. Not good. Now I need to zoom right out because I got to get running if he casts that spell.
Oh, there's the timer. Oh, right, he's I'm not watching because I'm setting the timer. And look, look at the damage when you get caught in it. you got to keep moving because they chase you. There you go, back to fight. Let's just eat. Let's try a bit of magic. Why not? See how good it is. That's 150. Oh, they're both the same. <coughs> wow, his health's gone down. Is that the magic that's done that so nicely? Don't need to be near him now. Attack him from a distance. And then start to run when he turns, does his spell. Hello, is it me? Or is this just not hardly harming him now? I thought the magic was doing good damage. Maybe it was the daggers. Sometimes it does nice damage. You've got to keep your health topped up though, because if he suddenly does that, cast that spell, it could be most unfortunate for me. I'm going to go back to the daggers because this is just taking too long. Oh, oh no, 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 move, 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 move. Oh, got caught again. Oh, look at this, that, 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 killing me. was not good. Yeah, stick with the daggers. I think they're doing much more damage. Oh, what am I doing? I thought that sound then, that bomb was him doing the icicles. Oh, it's, I don't know if it's lagging out, but it's just not bloody running when I move. And I'm running out of food. I hope I can kill him this time before the next cast. Oh, no. Oh, I just moved in time then. See the... No, uh, it's cool. I'm just running. Look at that. Stupid. Run back into the... Oh, I've got him. Right, okay, time has gone. I'll end the episode here. You've seen me beat the this nasty ice fiend, although he's still not as bad as that Asti. I just hate her. Anyway, and hate's a bad thing, but I just dislike her. Right, okay, so I'll end here. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.